Hey, what's up guys? Um, today we're gonna be talking about the Silver Wolf banner, right? 1.1 patch has just come out in Honkai Star Rail. And I just wanna let you guys know that Silver Wolf is freaking God tier. And we're gonna get into that in a moment. Um, but I want you to know if you've gone for her and you've pulled for her, hell yeah, you've earned yourself a support that brings a lot of unique different things to the table, has a lot to offer. And I personally don't think she will be too power crept for a while. I, I don't think she'll be power crept for a while. I think she'll be a pretty consistent support for the longevity of the game for quite a while. Obviously, we'll see if I get standard corrected, but for now, I think, yeah, I think she's fucking great. I'm gonna get into why she's so great in just a moment. So we're gonna skip her basic attack because everyone's basic attack is pretty much the same. And we're gonna skip that. I'm gonna go straight to her talent. We're gonna talk about her talent first because everything she does is in relation to her talent. And every skill we'll talk about is gonna be at level one. So. She can create three types of bugs. She can either reduce the attack by 5%, reduce the enemy's defense by 4%, or reduce the enemy's speed by 3% every time she attacks. And this is with her alt skill or basic attack. She's always gonna proc one of these three types of bugs, and they last for three turns. So that's pretty cool. She's defaultly just by existing, creating debuffs on the enemy. And speed, that gives you extra turns. It uh, increases their action value, attack, You've got that, you know, you don't take it, you don't get hit as hard in defense, you hit them a little harder. And that defense is actually really important, that little defense stack on top of what we're about to talk about in a moment with her other skills. So for her skill, there is a base 75% chance for her to add one weakness of an on-field allies type to the target enemy. This also reduces the enemy's damage resistance to that weakness type by 20% for two turns. If the enemy already has that type weakness, the effect of the damage resistant reduction to that weakness type will not be triggered because you know they already have that type weakness so each enemy can only have one weakness implanted by silver wolf which makes it fair that makes it fair and when she implants another weakness to the target only the most recent implanted weakness will be kept in addition to that there is a 100 percent base chance to reduce the all type resistance of the enemy further by 7.5 percent for two turns and then obviously it's a skill, so it deals quantum damage equal to 98%. And that's off base level one, 98% on the damage multiplier. That's pretty good. Now, this skill alone is ridiculous because what Silver Wolf does for your teams is she allows you to run mono type teams. She can grab the weakness. Let's say you run her with Clara, Su Shang, and Natasha, right? She can grab that normal type weakness and apply it to the enemy, whether they're weak to normal or not. It doesn't matter. Like it doesn't matter. She'll apply that to that specific enemy. There's a chance she'll apply her own weakness if they're not already weak to quantum. But with three normal characters on your team, there's a higher chance that you'll apply one of those three normal type weaknesses on an enemy. So that's really good. Like you're literally applying, there's nothing that can do that in the game right now. Like the uniqueness of that to be able to just be like, hey, I wanna run this team. I don't care what the weakness is telling me suggested on this dungeon or whatever. I'm gonna go in with this team that I wanna go in with. The Silver Wolf's gonna apply that, so it doesn't matter. And then on top of that, on top of that, right? On top of that, you get the all type resistance of the enemy. And that is defaultly at 7.5%. Once you get to level 10, that'll be at 10%. And that's for two turns as well. Both of these for two turns. They'll get the extra weakness type by 20% and then they'll get the all type resistance, which means whether you, whichever weakness you apply, if you're running like a multi-team with like three elements or four elements, whichever weakness you apply anyway, they're still gonna take an extra 7.5% damage at level one from your other characters, which is like, that's crazy. So she's automatically by existing, pair this up with a bug. She reduces the defense with the bug that's over 4% on top. Altogether, she's consistently just reducing and shredding through the target's defense. And defensive shred in this game is actually very valuable. If you're a person who uses Peeler like myself, you pretty much understand how important defensive shred can be for certain situations. It's really useful. Now we're gonna get into her ultimate. There's an 85% base chance to decrease the target enemy's defense by 36% for three turns. And at the same time, check the damage multiplier, 228% of her attack to the target enemy. See, even if her attack isn't crazy, because again, it won't be, because nine times out of 10, depending on your situation, you're gonna be building Silver Wolf with a lot of effect hit rate. You wanna get her effect hit rate as high as possible to get all the chances and get all of these happening. You wanna get all of these buffs, your bugs, your ultimate, debuff with the defense your skill debuff you want to get all of that happening as much as possible so you will be building her with a lot like a lot of effect hit rate so to have that 228 percent damage base multiplier on her ult is just a nice little bonus now for her technique we're not really going to talk about technique it's not to me it's not as important to talk about only in the sense that 
You're only going to be able to use it sometimes. It's not something that's always going to be prevalent in every single battle you partake in, depending on your technique points. So we're going to gloss over her technique. You guys can easily look that up yourselves. We're going to get into her traces now. Her first trace is that the bugs that she generates on all of her attacks, the duration is extended for one turn. And that's really good because obviously defaultly, they only last for three turns. They're going to last for four turns now, each of those bugs that she applies. And every time an enemy is afflicted with weakness break, Silver Wolf has a 65% base chance of implanting a random bugging enemy. So it's not just of her attacks, just by her existing and you break in weaknesses with your other characters and especially because you're going to be applying those weaknesses if an enemy doesn't have it anyway, just by existing. She can apply the attack debuff, the defense debuff and the speed debuff, which will last for four turns thanks to this trace. That's ridiculous. Like so far, if you guys have been paying attention, think about everything we've just spoken about so far. She's got... I can add an element onto you and you reduce that element's uh, resistance by 20%. I can add 7.5% of all type resistance against you. I can reduce your defense then by a further 4%, which is a separate stack. I can then ult and reduce your defense by 36%, which is a separate stack for multiple turns again. And again, this is all just all at level one. You level it up, it increases. The percentages all increase by a big amount. So it's like, you add that all to it's, it's ridiculous. Um, absolutely ridiculous. As for her second trace, the duration of the weakness implanted by her skill increases by one turn. So similar to basically the first trace, but instead of her bugs, this time it's for her skill. So it again increases, so you've always got them debuffs up. Her third trace is if there are three or more debuffs affecting an enemy when the skill is used, then the skill decreases the enemy's all type resistance by an additional 3%. Right. Additional. So if you're at level 10 and it hits this 10% here, right. That means it's going to be 13%. If you're at level 1, it's going to go to the 10% without even upgrading the freaking skill. That's insane, man. What the hell? Like, <laughs> oh man, do we even go into our Adelons? Do we even go into this character's Adelons? Is there a reason? Do you guys, if you still at this part of the video and you're not understanding the value this character is bringing to your team, and remember, she's quantum as well. We spoke about one of Lochar's biggest values to pull for him was that he was imaginary. Silverwall's biggest value is that she's quantum. Again, your only quantum characters in the game right now, if you didn't pull on the first banner, is Xing Chue. And if you're not a fan of her and you don't want to build her, you don't like the play style, this is your other option. And it's a quantum character that can, her team build potential, if you think about it, she can literally go into any team in the game, including making mono teams a thing. Her usefulness and her resourcefulness and her value is, is ridiculous. She's a god tier freaking support. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. Going through these myself and looking more into her, I am tempted. We all know uh, from my last video, I'm guaranteed my low chart. So if I go for her, I'm guaranteed her, but I don't know if I want to use that on her. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm tempted. I'm tempted, but I've been holding back. I'm content with my Pila. I got my Tingy and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm holding back because of how badly I want low chart. But if I've decided to Dolphin a bit, I would go for her. But that's only if I decided to. She's like, she's really good, man. Now, for those of you that are looking to whale a little bit, dolphin a little bit, or just keep pulling with your free to play pulls during the whole of the patch or the whole of time her banner's up, basically. This is for you. This is a section of the video for you. Or if you just get lucky, <laughs> if you get that lucky. Um, her first Adolon. After using her ultimate to attack enemies, Silver Wolf regenerates seven energy for every debuff that the target enemy currently has. This effect can be triggered up to five times in each use of her ultimate. Damn. Damn, she's gonna get energy back every time. And if you guys are using the free to play light cone that came with her event on her that's even more energy recharge so that's a lot of energy recharge without even you haven't even touched your relics yet this is just energy from her first Adelon and her free to play uh event light cone which is pretty good her second Adelon is when an enemy enters battle reduces their effect resistance by 20 percent oh my god reducing their effect resistance by 20 percent is really good because that's going to increase depending on how much effect hit rate you have that's going to increase the chances of you getting your buffs off which is really really good uh, we're going to skip the level 3 because it's just trace level ups. Uh, Adelon 4. After using her ultimate to attack enemies, deals additional quantum damage equal to 20% of Silver Wolf's attack for every debuff currently on the enemy target. This effect can be triggered for a maximum of 5 times during each use of her ultimate. Now again, she's not really, depending on what you're going to be doing with your Silver Wolf, you want a lot of effect hit rate. So naturally you would prioritize your effect hit rate over your DPS. But 
this lets you add in a little bit of more DPS to your, specifically on the ult. And with the damage multiplier already being defaultly 228, this little 20% on top, that's quite nice. That's quite nice. Even though it's over attack, it's still, again, it's just something a little bit extra. And it triggers five times, which is quite nice. We're going to skip Adelon 5 because it's just trace buffs and get to Adelon 6 if you're this lucky or that much of a whale, which is fine. Again, it's your account. Do what you want at the end of the day. I'm not judging you. If you are a whale, it's fine. It's just a term used. I don't really see it as offensive. It's fine. Do what you want. Anyway, Adelon level 6 for every debuff the target enemy has. The damage dealt by Silver Wolf increases by 20% up to a limit of 100%. Now, she can apply exactly three debuffs of her talent, two debuffs of her skill, that's five already, and another debuff of her ult. So she's always gonna be hitting that. If you're lucky enough to get an E6 Silver Wolf, or if you go for that E6 Silver Wolf and you get a hell yeah, congrats to you, your Silver Wolf is now fucking ridiculous. But even without the Adelons, this character's value that she brings to the table is absolutely insane. Like if you guys are going for Silver Wolf, hey man, I wish you guys luck. I gotta hold back. I gotta hold back because that kit is just so fun. I need to hold back from pulling out myself. But if you guys end up going for Silver Wolf, the value she brings, it's just, it's it's ridiculous. And she will definitely make your memory of chamber runs a little bit easier since you can just go in with whoever you want for the most part, right? Obviously, she's gonna be used on one of your two teams, right? So for the most part, one of your teams has a lot more flexibility now for memory of chamber because you have Silver Wolf making up for any of the weaknesses in your team, which is really, really, really good. I would definitely recommend this character if you're looking for a strong god tier support that nine times out of 10 will not fall off for a very, very long time. And she has decent damage, like not the best damage. Again, she's a support at the end of the day, but she has decent damage. And obviously if you min max her, you can obviously get some good freaking damage off of her, especially with her ult multipliers. On top of all the debuffs she's gonna do, they're gonna have their defense low anyway, so she's gonna do extra damage anyway. So it's like, yeah, she's, de <laughs> she's definitely, a character that would be a great addition to anyone's roster and that is why you might not skip silver wolf that is why you might pull for silver wolf guys thank you for coming through to this video i appreciate it we'll catch you in the next one